Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead in a plain grayish black shirt, and this is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad. Mostly a light commentary playthrough as we get into the end game hard mode challenges and then the post game replay through with the Japanese voiceovers in hard mode. We will be playing uh, and just talking through stuff and like I'll be prepping for the upcoming bosses and going over like strats and things like that. So it's not going to be the same as the the uh, normal mode playthrough. Right now I have the final six person bout, the riotous feast. I've actually been kind of disappointed by a bunch of these. I've done them off stream because I was doing them when I was farming AP, which the AP grind is done. It took probably six, seven hours. I'll show you my XP on my characters. Oh, you can, I guess you can see it all on the screen right now. I didn't know it was on the screen. We're almost at 1.8 million XP farmed on, well, Tifa's there, 1.8 million. Cloud's at 1.79 million. So that's how much XP I've farmed. The XP doesn't matter. It's because I had to farm that much XP to farm that much AP. It's a lot. A lot. <laughs> well, let's do this. A lot of these Musclehead Coliseums have been the same four mobs in different orders. I've done the exact same thing I'm about to do, but in different orders. So I'm going to do that again now. It's a little strange, the orders they put these bosses in. This is focus the Jabberwock and sweep the uh, Mind Flayer. Yeah, dodge wrong. I think Red has sleep, so hold on. Go for it. Damn it. Leave it to me. Try taking it easy. Now, fear me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Hang back. All right. That'll do. Yeah. Sorry. Now. Now, oh, come on. Let's go. I'm here for you. All the knockups, man. This game. Should work. My fire still asleep? No. I don't know how he woke up so quickly. <laughs> He's waking up. Let's do this. I'll end this. You're not gonna stand. I've lived too worse. Please. Kiss my ass. Try 
taking it easy. Damn it, I want to soak on. that. That's okay. I've learned doing a lot of uh, hard mode uh, simulations and stuff, which to be clear, this is technically not on hard mode right now. These are the muscle head coliseums you unlock after defeating the overall game. So this is level 60 content. But what I've grown to understand is a lot of just like punch, punch, yeah, auto attacks and cool physical abilities are just like fine this game is hit them with their elemental weakness you slow stop and sleep that's the game also spam quega which we'll see at certain points in here where you spam quega and comedian and just wipe the screen that'll actually be a lot of the chadley things will be a lot of that because for whatever reason, that's the most effective way to do anything. It's the gamer way, I guess I should say. Uh, this is lightning. Whoops. for more Yuffie. So, doing things like this. Damn it. I need to stop him as well. The Marlboro's coming over. Yeah, okay. Left wing, gonna hit right now. Oh, that is actually not good. I think that's a restart, actually. Yeah, damn it. Maybe it's maybe it's blast the Marlboro first in this one. Oh, I need to move over. Uh, resist. My mission. I was trying to get the the King Zoo out of there immediately. So Yuffie is the only character that can quadra cast in this game. Like anyone can du can dual cast. Anyone can dual cast. But no one can quad cast except Yuffie. 
So she doppelgangers. So by default, she has double cast because she cast then her doppelganger casts a weaker version. But if she stands in Aerith's Arcane Ward, she casts twice and her doppelganger casts twice. So she casts four Aga spells, which is, which is a lot. I think I'd rather have resist for that then. So what are more? Just make Are you interested in joining the Make parade? Aerith immune and then just cleanse anyone else that gets hit. Alright, let's uh Riotous Feast. Let's, uh, let's get back to that second stage. All right, round two. Okay, this time we sleep at the zoo and beat up them all. Oh, nice you ready for this? Stuff works on him, does it? Nope. Just mean to everything. But not ice. Oh, Arcane Ward. Whoops. Click too fast. Sleep. Yep, there's the AoE. One thing now we have to deal with the fetid haze doesn't go away. Actually, I don't really think they need to do that. This one's for you. Gotta heal first. Back me up. I'm here. I owe you. Just gonna get her. Damn it. Okay, so regardless of how you do this, it's going to get a little messy. Got it. Damn it. She was interrupted, wasn't she? Yep. She was definitely interrupted 100%. A little dicey. Come on, you can do it. Oh, you're gonna feel this. 
Oh boy. Wait, really? It went off, but it didn't go off. It's kind of lame. I'm your one-stop clobbering shop. Really, a second swarm song? I have to break these. I don't think I can do it quick enough otherwise. There we go. I like how Kiraga technically went off, but it went off, but it spell cascaded and it didn't actually hit Aerith. But she's the one that cast the spell. Oh, well, there's the transference module. Transference module is pretty good. You've completed all advanced rank six person bouts. All items are not available at the GP exchange. Give us a holler when you want to throw down. Let's see. Stamp plushies right here. Is there anything the else point. available? In and exchange your gold saucer points for fabulous prizes. What even is? Oh, Dio's autograph. Let's go. That makes sense. What did he sign that with? One of those giant... It's one of those really stinky, big, like, aluminum markers. I mean, obviously, it's just an artist with a brush stroke in Photoshop, but that's what it looks like in World. It's one of those big ones you would get as a kid when you were making those science fair projects with the trifold cardboard. And you would always get a little bit lightheaded. They're the squeaky markers. They would go... Wee, wee. When you would, when you would, yeah, that's what that is. So this is just, that's just something for, uh, for Johnny, for Johnny's wall, which we need to complete the whole thing. Speaking of which, we we're going to check on Johnny. Let's go check now, actually, because we, before we go over to do the... Because we have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Ultimate Party Animal, the last two challenges up next. You got lucky a couple times in the Sephiroth fight where the Arise spell cast went off, but the caster died before the spell landed, so both the characters were dead at the same time. <laughs> uh, so it's 79 of 88. We'll display your donations with pride in our exclusive collection. Still can't open this, huh? I still never looked up what's actually in there. I didn't want to spoil myself. I've looked up other things about like bosses and stuff to prepare for. And I've learned a lot about this game over the weekend. Didn't have a stream this past Friday. And then I took the weekend to finish farming AP. And then I have learned a lot about this game. It's just more of the remake system, but I've learned a lot more about it. So, so we only need nine more. And I think all of them are from hard mode. One might be from Ultimate Party Animal. The pieces are acquired tastes. Yeah, it might be from Ultimate Party Animal. Oh, there's the crown. Whoa. That's cool. That's something I've never seen before. You'd think actually having all this stuff out here in the beach heat would actually be awful. Unless Johnny is taking them in. I guess even inside doesn't matter because it's just bamboo walls and wood. It's not really... Unless it's dry beach heat and not humid, because all this stuff would get... Anyway, doesn't matter. I thought Johnny would have dialogue, but he doesn't have dialogue until you have all 88. Let's head back to the gold saucier. Oh, <laughs> materia for climate control. I don't know about that one. Just uses resist materia on all of the collectibles. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. All right, we need to go back to. Is it Wonderman? I think it's tracking the side quest we're on. Because I did the Queen's Blood 
the other day because I didn't think the internet needed to see more Queen's blood. And the patch fixed the G-bike thing so we could move forward. So I think he's just, yeah, we're doing Brawler now. So I'm going to be employing a strat here that I was told. When the NPC is winding up an attack, you just hit pause to look at what attack they're doing if you need to. Like if you're not sure if it's like an uppercut or like a, a, a swing or something like that. So we'll see how that goes with uh, pausing on attacks. Oh, you can also see how much I've farmed AP wise because how much gill I have. I think I ended the game with barely 200,000. So a whole playthrough with buying stuff, I had 200k. And since then farming, a since all the AP farm, we're at almost 600,000 with no gill up anywhere. Every combat to farm was, you know, 600, 800 to 1,000 gill to farm AP. That's just how much farming you have to do to get all your materia maxed out. Okay. <laughs> there you are, Cloud, the magnificent party animal. If you're ready, then let us settle once and for all who is the best of the best, the Gold Saucer's party god. Yeah. So he has right and left straights, right and left hooks, and right and left uppercuts. Stomp on the Shinra Creed and give him a nosebleed. Also, I think he does a lot of triple attacks, if I recall. So we'll be doing this a lot. That is a right straight. Oh, you have, to, you, have to, you have to immediately pause. Oh, does he get Linux Gauge faster? Okay, that's upper. That's, I'm just learning his attacks. All right. What the heck? That was kind of cool. Can I only get hit four times by this guy instead of the regular, like, six? Oh, that's up. Really? I'm, I'm hitting up. Huh. I think Gilly can hit me four times. Yeah, okay. That's different. So it's only four times. How is that? Let's look, his animations are a little strange. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to read. It is definitely hard to read. I was apparently down. Yeah, I still have to hit him the full times though. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, his, his, his reading is that's why you would, you'd pause spam him. Okay. Yeah, this is a little, a little annoying, but this whole mode is kind of annoying. What's the difference? I don't know what the difference is in his attacks. Okay, that was clearly an uppercut. That's a straight. His his right hand attacks, almost every single one of them just goes back. But then he goes uppercut or he goes overhand. <laughs> Alright, I can see why this sucks. They're not very well telegraphed. Maybe they are, but maybe I'm not seeing it. See? Okay. Are they opposite? Because that was an an uppercut, and he brings his right arm up and then goes down. Also, let's see. These are also curated, apparently. Nope. 
I basically can't get hit, so it could be a lot of restarting, I guess. Okay. See, that looks the same. That looks the same. So is that? I can't cut. I weird. Yeah, this sucks. Yep. Yeah, this this is bad. I really can't tell. That looks like an uppercut to me, man. Oh, I hate this. I, I do not like this at all. I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm getting handicapped. No. I swung the wrong way. Okay. So his moves are opposite. Oh, oh, but that, not that one. His right arm is opposite. His left arm is not. That's frustrating. That's so fast. Holy shit. That's just right. I didn't see. I didn't see it. That's just, I flicked too high. Dude, it's so fast. I got boomer brain. I got hit him five times. So fast, man. I it's I I don't see it. I just I, it's so weird. They all look so similar. Very frustrating. Nope. Uh, okay. I I got to learn. I guess if you watch, his left arm goes down. So I'm like, okay, uppercut. Nope. It's just a straight. I, I flicked too hard. I, I flicked up instead of right. I, uh, I don't like this at all. The three, the three D brawler is pretty maligned. I, I hate it. I, I actually hate it. <laughs> oh God. I thought it was that attack. It wasn't. Uh, that, it, it was the opposite. I, dude. I, it, it's, oh my God. <laughs> I hate this. I mean, this isn't even the hardest one. I, I, I 
hate it so much. I wish they were color coded or something. I right, nope. This may look easy from a spectator point of view, but this is probably the hardest thing in the entire game. I hate it so much. It's such a similar looking animation. Ah! Dude. I need to watch the footage back of this when I edit it. And the... The direction the arms move is going to be so minute it's going to be so incredibly minute right. if i get hit right off the rip i was restarting that's the same attack Like, I think I need to learn these frames. So this is up left equals up right. This is uppercut left equals down. That's too early. That's the straight. No, that's not the straight. Dude, god damn it. <laughs> this is so hard, man. No, I... <sighs> Dude, I need to boot up like Elden Ring to fight Melania or boot up Bloodborne and fight Lady Maria. Give me like the hardest Soulsborne bosses of all time is easier than this shit. I'm trying to learn if there's a pattern to his animation to my reaction besides just trying to figure out where the hand goes because again that was not what I thought it was and it was up left so is it maybe opposite of his animations every time I don't know this, this is painful looks the same <laughs> how do you tell how do you tell dude how do you tell please show me how do you tell fast I it's so I dude <laughs> I right, will do the same one over and over again I can recognize that getting the handicap the game said okay it's enough now here we go I can't, I cannot tell. So hard to tell. 
Nope, that's a straight. The difference in this versus this. This is a straight. This is an uppercut. Straight. Uppercut. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a visual guide? I'm looking what up because I don't care anymore. All right. I have looked up a, a slight helpful aid for this. We'll be pausing a bit more now. I still have to get to the combo points. Hold on. It's in a weird spot on my screen. Here we go. There we go. Good Lord. I mean, you can easily tell if the if, if the the sign is his other arm. I was just too slow on the flick that time. I literally did that. I flicked the left analog stick, but apparently not. So that looks just like this. Okay. That's the same thing. All right, combo. He's doing a left attack. So this is down, up, right, up. Well, I blocked it. Ugh. that this yeah same thing this is down up right up oh i'm doing it too early you don't want to block you want to dodge same thing damn it Down, not up. That's this. And it's a block, not a dodge. Oh, no. okay. All right, well, we're getting a little bit there. That's the straight that goes behind his back. Same thing. Same thing. So yeah, these are the, the, what makes this difficult is the, the battle cycles when they're not doing a combo, the combos people have sussed out. They're always the same. And this guy has two different combos, a right combo and a left combo, um, which if it's his left hand, it's down up, right up on the right stick. If it's his right hand, it's down left up left on the, on the left stick because the right stick does the right one and the left yeah but all the moves between the combo attacks are random and then the combo attacks are locked in okay so down up right up Ugh. so fast i'm missing the flick that's apparently down again that's up. I, dude, I'm just, it's, it's so confusing. I, I just don't see it. I don't, I don't see that one.
All right. No, come on, really? I was actually moving my hand back into position. I just touched the trigger. Wrong. Bro. I oh, I was up, not down. Yay! All right. Down, up, right, up. I, I, I immediately hit it. See, the pause strat's weird because you have to come out of the game hitting it, but you still have to like wait for the game to be totally unpaused because if you dodge, that what that's what gives you the ability to hit. If you block, they still get some limit gauge and it stops the combo, but you don't take damage. But you still lead them to eventually punching you in the face. I, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I want to get this just done so I can move on. I flicked up instead of left. Okay. Down, up, right, up. Oh my God, I did it. I, I don't, I don't see it. It's so annoying. It's so, no! Same thing. Got him. The opposite now. So this is down, left, up, left. All right. This is where I lose. Okay, he's doing a right combo immediately. So down, up, right, up. Oh my God, free me. Free me. <laughs> I don't know why he comboed three times in a row. If the combos are the, the locked part, you can tell. <laughs> Look at that armpit on cloud right there. Mm. That's the joke. He doesn't have one. Uh, all right. Holy crap. We did it. Kind of. You beat me. And in so doing, prove that you are the ultimate party animal. Couldn't have asked for a better rival. I like you's wasted on Shinra. <laughs> huh. You are too kind. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate the coronation of our new ultimate party animal. Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. Maybe not with their huge sword on your back, Cloud. Respect? They actually made the animation work with his sword. That's crazy. Oh, excuse me. Hello? That was OG Final oh, Fantasy wait. music or what? seven music. Slow down. Uh-huh. And what did they have to say? Oh. Of course. I'll be there. It seems my vacation is over. I'm needed at the office. My assistant was in tears, begging me to return. Hmm. What happened to life as a party animal? Huh. 
I've had my fill. And someone has to stand up for my colleagues, shield them from all the politics and bureaucracy. Is that the Shinra Creed? No, it's the middle manager's creed. <laughs> Well then, may we meet again soon. In the third game. Oh, it gives you the gambler materia. My job here is done. Now that you are the ultimate party animal, you can put your polygonal, 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 either one, combat prowess to the test by taking on a powerful new opponent in 3D Brawler. It's just Sephiroth. Spoiler alert. It's Sephiroth. So Sephiroth apparently has four chewed combos. Middle manager only had two. Most everything, I guess I only had two. He has four. And one of Sephiroth's combos, or one or two of them? One of them. So he has a five hit combo, a three hit combo, a four hit combo, and a five hit combo. But the five hit combos, fourth and fifth button activations are double activations, which apparently he only does when you are uh, about to win. It's an up, left, right, up, up, down. But yeah. But the thing is, some of his combos start with the same hand so good luck i guess a powerful new challenger awaits you part of level 10 finally i would have had that at the regular part in the game but it was um didn't work what does gambler do that's actually a new material oh no <laughs> i thought it was max level because it already had a star but no it's only a yellow materia though so it only goes 300 900 so that won't take very long with the the triple double strat so use gamble allows you to use an ability or spell from the party's equipped materia at random with gamble spells cast with gamble will consume mp use gamble use gamble and reduce the mp cost by 25 or 50 percent so is that even good is that even good is i guess if you have a party that is super one element focused and then because if you have a party with anyone that has like cure or like asuna stuff or cure or time you'll just randomly cast that but if you want to try to like make three people in your party all cast an offensive spell, maybe it always casts offensive spell. It says an ability or spell. So can you like use a red 13 vengeance ability on cloud? How does that work? Is this, this looks not good or just kind of fun and stupid. Unless it's a curated list of, of what you can actually use. Is there a is there a curated list? I don't I don't know. Gambler materia? I, I just want to see if there's like a list. Uh let's see. Yeah, it's from Can't Stop. It, oh. <laughs> so the, the big game database I use to check things just says what it is. How to get it and what it is. That's it. But is it, is it any, is it any good? I, I don't, it sounds not good. Gambler Materia picks a random ability or spell equipped. Oh wait, randomly selects an ability or spell from the currently equipped. Allows you to use an ability or spell from the party's equipped materia. So you pick a person in your party, I guess. This will not use weapon abilities and spells will still require MP. 
So it doesn't use weapon abilities and only, so it only can cast like cure, haste, stop, sleep, blah, 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 offensive spells. This seems, I mean, I'll give it a try later, I guess. I'll, <laughs> I don't know who would want to use this. I guess I could give it to Kate when he gets back in the party just for fun. Also, how would it work if, if Kate's by himself? Like if you use it when he's by himself, would it just cast one of his own spells randomly? Because the 50% mana cost reduction is what I think is interesting on this because you can kind of cheese it in a way. Like say if I have it on Kate Sith and I pick Yuffie and I take off these other abilities on Yuffie, all she'll have is lightning, lightning, and lightning. Because like my Yuffie build now is just going to have her with three with swift cast, magic efficiency, and magic focus for the extra potency on the spell for casting it instantly so that her and her doppelganger both go ba-boom, ba-boom. And then magic, and this is the reducing the mana cost because it, uh, Aga spells are expensive. And I could even go one farther and do MP absorb on her, which I even might. I might just leave her with like D shell because she can D shell the target that she's going to eventually then blast, right? So you could do, you could do this. She had all this like support material on her and I'm just using lightning as an example here because then you do this and then you do uh, MP absorb so that she never runs out of mana then because I'm pretty sure if she double or quadra casts it, she would get MP from the two or four versions of that spell. So she would gain mana essentially. So, and you can even go even farther. I have another magic focus down here on on red just kind of had to put it somewhere i could put this also on yuffie but i want to do double luck ups so that her spells crit more often and then an hp up just because she's super squishy and then d shell so because d shelling a target makes them take 25 percent more spell damage something like that i think they're all 25 percenters but but then so if if yuffie's in the party with with kate sith and kate sith gambles to Yuffie's stuff, he'll basically just cast lightning. Now, will he only cast thunder, or is it randomly picking thunder, thundara, and thundaga? Because then if you can actually cast an Aga spell on someone else from someone's kit at 50% mana cost reduction. Eh? I don't know. It feels kind of bad. <laughs> it doesn't... It seems fun. But it doesn't seem good. Also, I'm finally aware of the HP absorb enemy skill materia combination. This is this is the good stuff right here. Because when you do HP absorb and you use the uh, plasma overcharge, the AoE that poofs off you whenever you get an ATB bar, that will heal you as well. As well as using other abilities uh, that would deal magic damage. So from enemy skill. But okay, holy crap. We did it, kind of. Uh, I guess we should give Sephiroth a look. Because all I think Sephiroth is, is just a play log knockout. Or maybe it's a trophy. Maybe it's a trophy. We only have a few left. Yeah, we only have six trophies left. Yeah, that's to redo the Junon party. This is to do Seven Star Hotel. Oh, it's just a trophy. And it's only bronze? Defeat Sephiroth in 3D Brawler. 4.8% of players have currently earned this. It's only a bronze trophy. <coughs> I'll do this later. I'm going to queue it up right now just to see. Because he probably looks cool. He looks kind of dorky. Let's be real. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Oh, that's how you get ribbon, though. Shit.
it ranks it at the same five stars as Ifrit, but it has it's just a gold bordered purple star instead of a purple bordered gold star. I mean, we have to at least boot it up here, right? We got to give it, got to give it the old college try. It looks kind of like his old form. So is this just, uh, this? Nope, oh, that's an uppercut. Let's try to look at his animations. Oh, he can only hit you four times. Farewell. Did he just Omni slash me? That was sloppy. Well, he Omni punched, I guess. He punched you. Okay. So his animations are very subtle, as one might imagine. That should just be this. That was too early. That's this. Uh, that's not that? Okay. That's this. Too slow. See, the pause method is weird. Because you come out of the pause, and you, if you immediately... It, depending on when your pause timing was... I guess it's helpful for learning. Helpful for learning, I guess. How many times I have to dodge him? Damn it, double block. Damn it. All right, he's... Wow. When do I get a hit? You probably have to have like three in a row or something. That's an uppercut. That's so similar. Yeah, because the other thing too, if if you press the command too early, that's what you get a block from. You have to basically press the the flick on up, right, down, or up, left, down as the ability is in the air. Because if you press too early, all you do is you block, which you don't want to do. So that's that's okay. That's uppercut. That's easy to see. That's also an uppercut. All right. That's the overhead. That's easy enough. That is a little tricky. I'm not going to waste too much time on this, but I got all the stuff I got to do. But I'll definitely come back to it. That's so similar, man. Ah. Uh. Those just look like straight hooks, not ugh. Like his uppercuts are definitely telegraphed well. I can tell his uppercuts pretty straightforward. Like that, those are, yeah. Oh, apparently not. See, it goes behind his head. I have to look for where his head's at. That, that was just bad. That was too slow. Although having ribbon for a hard mode playthrough could be really nice. Okay. Too slow, I guess. Too, too slow again. I think his window to do the dodges is shorter. I, good God. Yeah, I, I feel like the window is shorter. I don't know if it's the exact same. It might be, but maybe his animation is faster. It's so hard, man.
Hey, when does he... When do I get a bonk in? How do you... It's so similar. Look at his regular straight and his hook. They are so similar. My brain. Ugh. When do you get to hit him? I haven't even landed one hit after dodging a bunch. It's so annoying. Just have to learn it. Just have to learn it. I see. I good God. Yeah, this is way harder than the middle manager. I haven't gotten to a combo yet. I cannot see that. I... Very, 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 very difficult. Sure, I guess. Yikes, dude. That was three dodges in a row. And I don't get to even get a smack. Do you have to... Usually these are determined by X number of actions. So how many actions do you have to commit to before he does a combo? And do you only get to, to punch him after a combo? You may want to think about using the pause trick every step of the way, even for his single strikes. The main thing to know is that Sephiroth starts coming at you with four different combos during the end game. Sephiroth's tell is obvious. It happens after you dodge his combos, he hunches over and just flat out looks exhausted. Oh, does it not give you the, the blue stance to punch? Is that why I'm not noticing it? Do you have to go for your own attacks? Huh. I hate you. <gasps> Uppercut. That's the overhead. Yeah, I was only a block. That's Straight. Yep. All right. This is a left. Oh, I see. I'm understanding now. It looks like you could only hit Sephiroth after a combo and each combo is a curated attack. So you, you dodge him long enough, he does first combo. Dodge him long enough, does second. Dodge him long enough, does third. And then dodge him long enough when you're a one hit away from winning and he does the special combo. I see. It's a completely curated list outside of obviously the random get to that part moment. So this is up, left, right. Oh no, it goes back and forth. My brain. It's up, right, left, left. Right, right, up, left, down, right. <laughs> so what? So you do up, up, left, left, right, up, down. I think I just want to do one combo now and then we'll come back to this. Up, up, left, right, up, down. Up, left, right, up, down. 
Up, left, right, up, down. Up, left, right, up, down. I immediately get hit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Having ribbon for hard mode would be pretty sick, though. Yeah, that'll take a lot of the pause trick. And maybe some more studying. The weird part is once we start hard mode, I'll have to wait until I finish a chapter before I could like bounce back to give this a try because you only come to Gold Saucer in 8 and then like 12, 13. So I do have to get all the way back to chapter 8, which by then I've done more than half the game if I wanted to use the ribbon. Let me double check just in case. Curious. What does the ribbon do in uh, Rebirth? Hold on, I gotta scroll through the database. What oh, is this? Track! Holy crap! Oh, wrong list. Uh, I need accessories, please. List of accessories. The ribbon, as is tradition, prevents detrimental status effects from being applied to the wielder and also makes it harder to be interrupted while casting magic. I thought it was almost casting everything. I love how the database says the easiest way to get the ribbon is to defeat Sephiroth in 3D Brawler, which is the final enemy you can fight in this minigame. The easiest way? The easiest way? The easiest way. Just, uh... Just throwing that one out there. Sure. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Yeah. Sure. Right. Sure. Uh huh. Sure. Right. Yeah. Whatever. The easiest way. Let's see. Now. Double check. I love all of the extra Chadley combat simulators, but I'm probably going to do those in a later chapter. Beast Battlegrounds is done. Musclehead is also now done. Shinra is done. Weapon abilities are all learned. Only need to assess nine more enemies in the intel on one needs to be collected. Johnny needs eight more items now. The allies with strongest bond seems a little weird because you kind of have to play the whole game five times. Um, cause you, there are certain objectives to max out relationships that are a one or the other. So there's one with Barrett where you have to choose a Barrett choice or a Yuffie choice, meaning that that's a 50, 50. And if you pick Yuffie, then your entire playthrough, she'll only get to like, you know, 93% or whatever. But uh, that one's a little weird. Manuscripts, obviously, is just redoing the whole game and basically doing every side quest again. Not every side quest. I derped on this the other day. I was trying to figure this out. So once you're, once you're in chapter select mode, it'll actually show you which side quests give you manuscripts and the, by the level bracketing in the top right corner. This is where the side quest would give a folio, but then every boss also gives a folio. That's where the other ones are. Like, so in, in the grasslands, it only shows four, but there are way more folios in the grasslands if you go to chapter select. It only says like one here at the beginning of the game. Well, I guess it'd be here. It only says one. 
but there's also four others. So I don't, I don't know. It counts as like, I don't know where it counts them. Like these are the chapter specific folios, I guess. And then there's still also folios on all of the, uh, on certain side quests. Cause this is not all the ones I still need. This is not enough. This is only like 20 ish or something like that. And I need like 60 or something. I don't know. There's so many. So yeah. Well, this could be like the chapter completion shows a folio, but it's basically redo the whole game and then do every side quest that shows a folio. So with that, is there anything else that I need to get done right? other than AP farm a little bit, I guess <laughs> to kick gambler max. Uh, I think we shall start the hard mode. I do need to make sure I save again. This save again is for just loading up and recording some stuff for later. Just doing all the gold saucer dates because you could just tell the game. You go into here and you just tell the game which one you want each time. But yeah, if you've been watching live, appreciate you. If you're watching on YouTube. Remember the whole story is now out like 74 episodes long. Some are about two hours, some are an hour and a half, some are about an hour. It's a huge story. I did the entire thing outside of this one quest that was bugged, which we just finished now. But also if you want to watch other stuff, I've got all three Dark Souls games, all of Bloodborne, all of both God of Wars, all of both recent Jedi games. We've got Super Mario RPG, the remake. They just happened on Nintendo Switch. Obviously all of seven and the intermission episode DLC. All of Final Fantasy 16. That game was also really good. Those are all on the channel if you want to watch those. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I get to do folio stuff now. Because they have the... <gasps> yes! Yes, we're finally we're on the last level so we can get the last... Oh, uh... I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs>